Hey students, in this tutorial, I am going to prove this very important formula of trigonometry that sine square a plus cos square is equal to 1 or sine square c plus cos square c is equal to 1. So what does this mean? That if I have this right angle triangle where the right angle is at b, then if you take this angle, even then we can prove that sine square a plus cos square is equal to 1 or if I take this angle, the angle c, even then we can prove that sine square c plus cos square c is equal to 1. So this is a generic formula. Okay. So it's very easy to prove and let's prove it. So let's take this left hand side. So the left hand side is sine square a plus cos square a. Now sine a cos a these are trigonometric ratios means the ratios of two sides of this triangle okay and how do you remember what is the value of sine a and cos a so to remember it we always use pandit badri prasad har har bole so perpendicular over hypotenuse is what it is sine then base over hypotenuse is cos and then perpendicular over base is tan so we need sine and cos here so sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse so perpendicular over hypotenuse now what is perpendicular so in any right angle triangle there are always two perpendiculars okay now it depends which angle you are talking about so right now we are talking about angle a so we are talking about this angle so the side in front of this angle will be considered as perpendicular and side adjacent to this angle will be the base and this side the larger side this is always hypotenuse so sine a will be perpendicular over hypotenuse so this is my perpendicular BC divided by hypotenuse is AC and it's square because we have sine A square plus cos A base over hypotenuse. Now this is base, base is AB divided by hypotenuse, hypotenuse is AC is square. So this will be equal to BC square over AC square plus a b square over a c square so the lcm will be a c square and this will become b c square plus a b square now what is b c square plus a b square so this is b c and this is a b so b c square plus a b square is a c square because of pythagoras theorem so this will be equal to a c square divided by a c square because of Pythagoras theorem. So let me erase it because of Pythagoras theorem. Okay, you can write it completely. So these will get cancelled and this is equal to 1 which is equal to right hand side and that's what we had to prove. Now on the same lines, we can also prove that sine square c plus cos square c is also equal to 1 so basically it is a generic result so how we do that so let me tell you then you can try it That's yourself right. now if we talk about this angle angle c then the side in front of this angle means this side will become the perpendicular we will take this as perpendicular and this side will be taken as base now I know that most of the time students get confused that how is that possible means this was a perpendicular now why we are taking it as base now let's understand it like this so this is the triangle if I rotate this triangle if I rotate this triangle right now can I take this side as perpendicular or not why well, I can right so now if I talk about this angle then the side in front of it will be considered as the perpendicular and this will be considered as the base and hypotenuse will always be the longest side right now you can try proving sine square c plus cos square is equal to 1 yourself 
okay so if you like this tutorial then share it with your friends and your classmates so that's it from this tutorial keep watching mathemafia